Now we know for sure that Illumina Pokemon live on this island as well. That brings us back to the idea that events depicted in Lintel's legends actually happened. Didn't that legend say Pokemon warded off some huge disaster? What do you think it was? Evidence suggests it was a meteorite. About 2,000 years ago, what we now know as the Teller meteorite arrived. What? The world was almost destroyed again? That happens quite often in the Pokemon world, it seems. According to legends of what happened then. The Illumina Pokemon's power was scattered all over the region, making the Pokemon of Lintel glow. An interesting idea, isn't it? But here's my theory. What really caused the Pokemon of Lintel to glow was, in fact, the Tellur meteorite itself. And Illumina Pokemon are the ones that were most heavily affected by the meteorite. So, the legends are wrong? That's what we're trying to find out, which is why our research is so important. What? There was some sort of, like, Illumina meteorite going on? You guys, we're starting to actually really dig into the depths of some of- Oh, hello, Todd! The mystery's here. Hey, how are things? Research going okay? Listen, I know you can take the Neo-1 off to other islands, but why not try snapping some photos here? You may already be familiar with the Pokemon around here, but I bet you'll find new sides to them if you look. Just choose this eye. Oh! <gasps> oh! I can take some new pictures! Oh my gosh! Thank you, Todd! I really have been wanting to take a picture of that Eevee for ages now. So now we can actually take pictures at the research camp, too! Oh! Look at Eevee and Pikachu! What? There's so many- Oh, Eevee- Okay, what's going on here? Eh? <gasps> Look at the Meowth! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so apparently there's a lot of things to be scanning right now. <gasps> Is there somebody under our deck? Hello? Hello, hello? Oh my gosh, you guys- So cute! Oh no, I spooked the Starly! I wanted to take a picture of them, not spook them. And actually, seeing something under the deck makes me laugh so hard because our neighbors have recently gotten a little beagle puppy and it runs under the deck of their house all the time and their Labrador can't fit under the deck. So they end up like barking at each other quite a bit. Hi guys! Because the beagle's able to explore and the Labrador isn't. Yee -yee, hi! And I just think it's the cutest thing. Hello, Starly! Oh, good, I got a good picture. A watering trough for Pokemon. It's full of fresh water. Oh, hey! There's even a crystal bloom over here. What do you think about that, Pikachu? Hi, buddy! You want an apple? Oh, I knocked him! I'm sorry! Oh, but it was worth it because he got his little apple! Oh, I'm so happy that we could actually, like, tour around. Oh, look at our little cabins! Is that where we're staying? Those are freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. They clearly have lots of windows. They're covered in plants. I highly approve. <gasps> I forgot how tiny Cutifly were. Oh, Cutifly, you're so adorable. Do you want an apple? Oh my gosh, I hit a Cutifly with an apple. Oh, you poor thing. I'm glad you're okay. What else is around here? This is really cool. What? I missed a whole pseudo widow. Okay, I feel very silly that I missed an entire pseudo widow. Just like right there. All right, let's see, who else is here? We need to do some scanning. Oh, there's somebody down here. It's a Bunnelby. Can I get, oh, there's two Bunnelby. What happens if I, can I toss? Oh. Hi, buddy. I managed to convince him to come out and say hello. That's so cool. All right, who else is around here? Look at our little place. All right. Wow. Hi, friend. Would you like an apple? Or a fluff of fruit, I should say? Come on, they're Ringo, they're apples. Oh, he was so happy. Okay, and I totally missed taking a picture of the, the stout lad. And there's even... No, not you, friend. Some of the Pokemon from the inside. Here you go! Good boy! 
He's not he's not one to move quickly, that guy. That was really cool, you guys. I like how we are able to go ahead and like work on the research camp now. Does that mean that we have a level for the research camp as well? Oh, look at everybody. Pikachu being surprised by the apple, the trubbish being adorable. I think having a trubbish around is a good idea because they eat the trash. So you can really do your reducing, reusing, and recycling if you have a trubbish nearby. And we finally got a picture of Eevee and look at how cute that looks. Oh my gosh. Meowth just taking a little nap. And Meowth actually disappeared by the time we swirled back around, didn't he? I wonder where he went. We've got Starly flying off. Beautiful. Come on, that's a picture in flight. Those are hard to sag. Okay, that's an adorable Pikachu picture. Now that we're up close and personal with the Pikachu. Our Trubbish being a good boy. Ready to go ahead and do the recycling for us. Cutie fly! One of my favorite Pokemon. They're so adorable. I want to get a better picture. Pseudo Widow, who literally kind of like blended in, pretending to be part of the sign. And the Southland, who apparently does not want to move too quickly, but he will come for the apple eventually. And the bottle bar that we convinced to come out and say hello! Nice! A ton of new Pokemon! Wow! Is there a research level, Professor? Like, did I just level up the- 150,000?! Why are- why is it 150,000 points before we're able to go ahead and, like, upgrade the research camp? I'm actually suspicious now. Yay! We got the normal collector title. A fairy type sticker, normal type sticker. Guys, I'm actually- I'm actually sus. I think that the reason it's harder to upgrade the research camp than some of the other areas is because there might be something big that goes down at the research camp. Trubbish Bright being cute. So yeah, I'm actually I'm actually pretty sus. I think something might happen. So let's come back. Except we're gonna come back very carefully. We're gonna return to camp first. And we're gonna take just a peek at the request that Todd just had pop, pop up. Because I feel like Todd's request might have something to do. Let's see. So climbing the waterfall, singing dragon, but we unlocked a new request just a second ago. Egg patrol, Mytox mighty leap, danger warning, weird crossing. A lot of stuff to do over there. Fruit jungle. No, 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 I'm really, here we go. See, <gasps> see, 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 see. I knew there was some stuff that we could do here. So we actually have Bunnelby burst out from Phil. Hey, I heard Bunnelby can jump super high. Let's see who can get me a photo of doing one of those mega jumps first. And then a puppet heart. Stoutland's usually calm, but sometimes it gets really excited and zooms all over the place. I hope you get to see it. <gasps> and a home in the dark. Hmm, there's a Pokemon under the floor, but it's too dark for me to see. I wonder how I could get it to come out. <gasps> you guys! Okay, let's do this. What should we focus on first? I'm trying to think. Stoutland, maybe? Can we get him to be... Can we get him to be really excited? Maybe if we fill him up with lots of energy? And maybe if we feed him? Hey, buddy! Do you want some noms? Okay, definitely got a good picture of him! Being adorable! Maybe he needs one of the other Pokemon to come play with him. Alright. Can we wake somebody up under there? I hope we can. Stoutland! Alright, let's see if we can get him to be a little bit more playful. Got the Starly right before they took off. I feel like Eevee... Hmm. Can I get Eevee to get down? Off the table, Eevee! Go play with Stoutland! Psst, psst, psst. Eevee, go play with Stoutland! Here you go, Trubbish! Oops, sorry, I'm trying to feed you! <gasps> <gasps> what just happened here? Oh my gosh, so I hit the Trubbish and it made him run off. Look at the Stoutland. Is he gonna play with the Eevee maybe? Okay, we gotta watch this you guys. So these two are now chowing down. Eevee is extremely happy. Playing music. Eevee's stretching. 
Do we need to get him more playmates, maybe? All right, let's try smacking the Trubbish again. All right, sorry, Trubbish. Wait, are you two playing? Okay, they're not playing. I think I need to get the Trubbish to maybe, like, freak out a little bit. You guys come out? Do you want to come out and play? Oh, my goodness! Oh, wow! Wow, now where are they going? So hitting the cutie fly to give it some energy actually did something. They've got such fuzzy little butts! I love them! Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to take a picture of the pseudo widow too. Because every picture of the different animal, or the different Pokemon, uh, gives us more points. Okay, and then let's try to get out the Bunnelby. I think we need to knock him a few times. Come on, Bunnelby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bunnelby. Come on! I really wanted to get him- Okay, fine. Bunnelby, whatever. Stoutland! Maybe you and Eevee need to play? How can I fill you both with energy and excitement? Come on, Eevee! Come play with Stoutland! Will that help? I don't want it to be done already. Come on! Play together, you two! Okay, I think I got kind of close, but... <laughs> that was harder than I thought it would be! I really thought we would we would manage to like get more there if I just like really threw myself into it. Okay, Eevee getting knocked by the Trubbish like this was kind of amazing. I didn't expect that to happen. I feel a little bad, but I think we're on to something there. Also, cute fly being cute. Let's see. All right, so cute fly was being kind of cute and up and about. So we got some better pictures. But I'm just so sus, you guys. Why is the research camp so high level and difficult? Just really super sus. Apparently the, the pictures of those surly like taking off is like my best. <gasps> Apparently that was a super rare behavior, getting the Eevee. Getting the Eevee like hit by the Trubbish's poison blast. So let's try that again. And I wonder maybe if it has something to do with waking up the Meowth? Huh. Man, this is a little hard. All right, so Stoutland's happy. Eevee getting blasted full in the face by this Trubbish was kind of amazing. Sorry, Eevee. It's just the way things are. And let's do this again. So let's try again. You know, one last time can't hurt. We are gonna wanna spend some time here at the research camp. We could just imagine we're kind of snacking on lunch whilst we're doing this. All right, Meowth, wake up. Yeah, wake up, there you go. Hi, friend. Can you maybe chase out or wake up whoever is down under the... Okay, so Meowth is now full of energy. And really feeling it. And we need to figure out who is hiding under here. Come on. Wake up, friend. Okay, we'll get Stoutland. Hmm, I think we need to, like... Hey, Starly! I think we need to maybe chase somebody somehow. Okay, Meowth is now running around, which means let's do this, you guys. Okay. Smacked Trubbish. Okay, surprise. No, no, I smacked Eevee. There we go. And poor Eevee is now off. Feel bad about that, but ooh, there we go. Got the Starly drinking. All right. Now I wonder, what if we smack the Trubbish again? There we go. Is he gonna eat? Oh, <gasps> that's so cute. All right. I wonder, because I want to see if we can, like, chase the Pikachu around to maybe have him do something. Alright, hey, Pseudo Woodo, you want to look my way? 
No? Hey, Pseudo Wodo. Okay, so Pseudo Wodo isn't paying as much attention. I don't think that Pikachu is going to go over to play with the Stoutland, even though I really, really, really want him to. But what if we hit all of these cutie flies and get him moving? Okay, it seems like they're up and about. Are they dancing? <gasps> I think they're doing little cutie fly dances. That's precious. So we got him to come up out of there. All right, you know what? Bunnelby, I choose you. A small Pokemon could probably, yes, I see. Come on. Come on! Oh, there we go. Is he gonna... Oh! I hope we got him jumping out! I really hope that was a good jump out. We'll have to see. Meanwhile, Stoutland is totally not playing. Anybody home? Hmm. Meowth is now awake, though. But I feel like Stoutland never came into the center. Where he and the others could possibly play. Maybe I should have smacked him with the apple. I need to just smack everybody with apples. Everybody gets smacked with apples today. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun because we did see some new behavior too. I uh, feel a little bit badly for some of the Pokemon like Eevee, who I once again ended up smacking. But you know, sometimes you just have to do the best you can do. Oh, I forgot to make sure that we got the right Bunnelby picture. Fooey. We'll have to see what got chosen. All right, was that the jump? Request complete? Ah, okay, I think we need to get him to jump twice. We got him to jump out, but I think we need him to get get him to jump twice, unfortunately. Yes, rare starly behavior. Poor Eevee, even more up close and center on their demise. Trubbish getting a little snack, which is cute. Pikachu being pretty happy about an apple. Pseudo Widow, still being Pseudo Widow. All right. Well, I feel like we're getting a little bit better every every attempt, which is really the point of being able to, you know, improve. We've made some progress. And still sus, the fact that the research camp needed that much TLC and we're still so far away. I'm just really curious about what happens when we get research camp up to level two. We're gonna have to find out. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. What do you guys think about their behavior? Like, what do you think of having a Trubbish at the campsite? I think that that's really useful for them because they're going to come and help to recycle. How do you think we can wake up whoever is hiding under the deck? And, oh my gosh, what's your favorite Pokemon that we have hiding around here? I think I'm kind of tied between Pseudo Widow because I always love them. The Starly because I love them. And this Eevee. This Eevee and this Trubbish, they've got a story going on that I really love. <sighs> All right, if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!